Our task today is to create a school calendar for Lincoln Public Schools. We begin with 180 days. That number is determined in part by teacher contracts, state guidelines, and best educational practices. Our top priority for our school calendar is to ensure the continuity, efficiency, and effectiveness of teaching and learning in our school district. Sounds simple. But the school calendar revolves around many variables and factors that make the task something more like putting together a puzzle. So, we start with those 180 days of school. We have found that having winter break, at the same time that we have semester break, is the wisest academic decision for our students. And each semester needs to have the same general number of days. This factor determines why school starts earlier in August and ends earlier in May than in decades past. Our next decision is to identify spring and fall quarters, also having roughly the same number of days. But there's more. Student vacation days should not interrupt instruction just prior to any major assessments. In-school assessments typically come at the end of each quarter, which means quarter breaks occur directly after. And since there are generally more assessment days in the spring, second semester needs to be slightly longer. We attempt to avoid having short weeks of school. Again, it's not sound academically. And whenever possible, non-student days should occur on common holidays such as the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr., Thanksgiving Day, Labor Day, and more. Finally, at the end of all of these critical decisions, we have a school calendar. This has been a presentation of Lincoln Public Schools. A monthly programming guide may be found at www.lps.org.